Hey, hey guys, Kiersey Snyder here coming at it tonight for Teachable Tuesday. We have October 18th at 8 p.m. We're about to let in our funnel team. And if you're catching the replay on our YouTube playlist, please put in the comments below this video, hashtag replay. And then if you have questions for things that we talk about tonight, please put them in the comments below so that I can help you and I can answer anything that comes to mind. Now, this is specific for the funnel team. And this is a training that we've never done before. And I'm super excited to have you guys, especially those on the replay, be able to really, really invest your time understanding this stuff. I hope even those on the live call tonight, go back and watch it again, because as you understand these concepts, it's really going to be mind blowing for your business. Okay. Now we're going to let some people in here. So give me just one second. Boom. That room filled up quick. Hey, hey, guys. Make sure the chat works. Put hi in the chat if you guys can see and hear me okay. Let me know. Just adding in some more people. So we'll get started here in just a moment. Hi, 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 hi. Awesome. Good, good, you guys. Boom. Look at this team. Looking up? good, guys. Looking good on a Tuesday night. Taco <laughs> Tuesday. Anyone have tacos Thank today? You. I do not, darn it. I would have tacos every day. I'm just curious who actually has tacos on Taco Tuesday. I think it should happen more often, that's for sure. Right? Taco every day? Er every day, every day. Every day. Elvis has tacos. Awesome, that's good. There you go. Okay, just admitting go. a couple more people, then we'll get started here in just a sec, guys. Coo, 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 coo. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to ask you guys is, to have everyone on mute. Sometimes when we start, some people accidentally take themselves off mute and that's okay. But for the things that we're talking about tonight, your mind is going to be blown. In fact, I just did a brief intro for those on the replay before I let all of you guys in. And I specifically said, you've got to pay attention, pay attention more than maybe you've ever paid attention because what we're talking about tonight is totally different than something you've experienced on Teachable Tuesday before. A lot of times we talk about Sorry, still letting people in here. A lot of times we talk about the how, right? Go do this. Go clone that. Go make this video. Go say this message. Go comment this. Go assume the sale. Go create this and follow the steps, right? We do that all the time. But what happens when we do the so much of the how that we forget where it first started? And what I mean by that is, you cannot embrace the how, you cannot do the how effectively if something is not taken care of first. And what we'll talk about tonight is my specific formula in making sure that I attract and that I close daily sales every single day, okay? To give you a little bit of insight, two goals I set yesterday, I specifically said I wanted to have over 100 people registered for Teachable Tuesday, and I wanted to, in one day, have six titanium sales. I set those two goals yesterday. At this time right now, it's like 8.07 Eastern. Let me see. We have 115 registered. You guys, <laughs> that's the most we've ever had. Register. It's the most on a live, especially at the beginning that we've ever had. Why is that important? Because what we are going to be talking about, the science behind what I just said, is what will set you apart from the rest. It is what will get you results in the way that you want. Now, I told Bill Marler yesterday, I, I just said flat out, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to put my head down. I'm just going to grow like crazy. Yep. And I joked, but then I actually took it for real. Okay. I specifically said jokingly at first, I'm going to get six titanium cells in one day. I'm just going to up and do it. I'm not going to get any gold. I'm just going to do titanium. Guess who just got the sixth titanium cell probably like 10 minutes ago? Me. And you want to know why that happened? Because of what we're going to talk about tonight. So as you guys are in this business, okay, we're going to take a poll here in just a sec. I hope you're paying attention. 
man, like makes me emotional. When you guys are in this business and when you understand the concepts we're going to be talking about tonight, you will have no choice but to meet with success. It's a guarantee. You know how I always say, act like your success is guaranteed. Spoiler, it is. I say that all the time. It's a great phrase. That's awesome. A lot of you guys have adopted it. You tell it to other people. That's great. But do you understand what that phrase means? Do you actually know the science behind that type of phrase, right? 66 of you on with us live, even those on the replay. I'm going to take a poll right now, then we'll dive right in. You guys are going to get the document of what we covered tonight as well. So don't sweat that. 66 of you guys on right now. Who started within the last month? Put me in the chat right now. If you started in this business with our team within the last month. Okay. Lots of me is coming through. Awesome. Okay. How many of you guys have started in this business within the last, let's say six months. So let's say you're more seasoned. You've been around the block. This is not your first time coming to Teachable, tu Teachable Tuesday. Okay. Lots of people who have started within last month. Lots of people who started within, let's say six months, still in my opinion, new, right? What I'm going to be talking about tonight isn't going to be something that is only for new people. It's not going to be something that's only for the season pro. Okay. Someone like Jamie Douglas, someone like Jason Perez, you guys have been here since what December, maybe January. So like nine or 10 months now, I would say you're a season pro, but someone like Elvis, Elvis started with Catherine last week. He is brand spanking new. What we're going to cover tonight in just a hot second will be applicable to Elvis. It'll be applicable to Barbara, who started two days ago. Congrats and welcome. It'll be applicable to Sim, who's been in months and months. But you got to pay attention and you got to really understand the concepts of what we talk about, okay? Because if you don't, I can't help. And if you don't understand all of it, that's okay. That's why I want you to watch the replay. That's why I want you to reference the document of what we'll talk about tonight, okay? Now, a couple things, you guys. There is a science to getting rich. There is a science, like a step-by-step -step formula in actually attaining your goals, not just wishing for them, not just focusing on the how-to, not just doing, you know, like we did last week. Hey, everyone, go clone this video. So many people had such momentum with cloning a video that what worked. So many people had such success. If that was you, put success in the chat. So many of you guys took that challenge and you guys had way different momentum than you've had before, right? But what about what happens before the how-to? What about what happens when you're about to do the how-to? What creeps up for you? I'll take a poll right now, then we'll dive into it. When you go and you do something like creating a video that you're like, oh, I'm out of my comfort zone. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to clone what she said, but holy crap, I am out of my comfort. I feel nasty inside. I feel anxious. I feel fearful. How many of you guys experienced that? 66 of you on live now, 66 comments should be popping through. All of you guys experienced that. And we're going to go into right now why that happens. Okay. For example, Peggy, Peggy Crummel. I don't know if I'm saying her last name right, girl. Peggy started what last week? And she sent me a four, maybe a five minute YouTube video today. And her first thing to me after she sent it, hey, I'd love your feedback, was I am so out of my box. Yes, my friend, you are. And guess what? Because Peggy took action, she actually knows better what to do now because she put herself in that uncomfortable position on purpose, okay? Y'all better be taking notes. I'm not kidding. I've got a lot of things to cover tonight that I want you guys writing down. I want you mimicking as I draw on the whiteboard here. And I want you to really, really embrace the concepts tonight. Deal? Put deal in the chat if you're listening and you can hear me loud and clear. 
Like here, Stu, let me just chime in for five seconds here. Yeah. So what we're going to talk about, guys, tonight is is near and dear to my heart. And you guys know that, like, a lot of times we talk about marketing, right? We talk about short form videos. We talk about YouTube. We talk about like what to do. Like you got to go do, do, do. Um, but what we're going to dive into tonight is really near and dear to my heart. And it is literally the foundation of your success. You might think it's, you know, your brand, your social media channel, your accounts, your short form videos, your action taking and all of, all of those things. But without what we're going to discuss tonight, and you guys have heard me some of you guys have heard me talk about these three specific things. Like if you want success online, you have to have three very specific things and you need to have them every single day. You got to work on yourself. You got to drive traffic. You got to follow up. We show you a lot of the times we talk the most, to be honest with you, we talk the most about number two, which is driving traffic. We don't really talk about following up a lot because we have the automated system that does that for you. Although we do talk about the DM formula, which is in a sense, obviously follow up. But one of the things that the most crucial to it all is number one, because if you don't have number one, if you don't work on yourself, if you don't work on you, if you don't put the time and effort and energy into you, number two and number three are completely irrelevant. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter how good or how bad or how whatever you are at short form videos. If your mindset sucks, you're going to quit. You're going to find an excuse. You're going to point blame. And that's why tonight is super, super, super critical and super, super important. And to be honest with you, that's why we have the biggest attendance tonight than any of the, the how-tos in the short form video and the other trainings that we've done, because tonight is the most important. We made the biggest deal out of tonight because it is the most important. Okay. So I'm going to hear and hand it off to uh, Kirsty here in one second. And, but before we do that, I just want to give a major, major, major shout out to Kirsty for literally all of the efforts that she puts into this, like the last several Teachable Tuesday trainings, she literally goes out of her way days ahead of time. She puts agendas together. She puts documents together. She puts these trainings together and all just literally to help you guys, literally to help you guys. We should literally be charging money for these trainings, but we don't. It's all free to you guys every single week. She pours her heart into this team for you guys. And there is nobody on this team that is more committed and dedicated to your success than her. And you guys should literally be like paying so much attention right now because we're going to dive into some of the most important things. And I want to give a couple more shout outs to, um, to those of you guys that are taking action out there really quick. Uh, Phil McLeod, I don't know where you are. I saw you on here before. I think you're down underneath Janet Legere. Uh, Phil, awesome, awesome job, man. I'm checking the sales every single day and you are, I think I've seen five, six, maybe seven sales from you in the last few days. Uh, so super shout out to Phil, uh, up and coming leader. Just great to see those sales pouring in. Uh, Ari's brought some people in. Ari's got a webinar coming up uh, later this week that we're going to do. So super excited for that. But just guys, we've got so much massive momentum heading your way. We got a new, uh, we got new VSLs we're going to be announcing to you guys very, very soon. So, uh, so much headed your way. But uh, it all starts with what we're going to be talking about tonight. And that yes. is the foundation of your success, which is your belief in yourself and your mindset. So please, please, please pay close attention, take notes and implement what we're going to go over with you guys tonight. Yep. Awesome. I couldn't have said it better myself. And you guys, even Daniel saying this, I'm like getting choked up. Yes. Because, ah, <laughs> I've been choked up over the last couple of days, just wanting you guys to succeed so badly and having the power and the capability to do so. Ah, oh, man, you couldn't have made a better decision in being on this team. You couldn't have made a better decision in being here tonight. And even those who aren't able to attend or say you're new tomorrow and you missed it when you're watching the replay, please, please pay attention really, really embrace the things we talk about tonight. Okay. Let me admit a couple more people. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to share my screen because I want you guys to see a couple concepts that I'm going to draw out here on the whiteboard. Now do your best. I don't know if it's going to let you draw, but you just make sure you don't draw. And then hopefully it makes sense for you guys too. My art skills are really good. Haha. <laughs> Not really. Um, okay. A couple things first. Okay. You guys have 
what I call the conscious mind. Okay. And then you have the subconscious mind. The conscious mind is where you think it's, you take a perception, something that you hear, something that was said, something that you see, and you internalize that thought. That's your conscious mind. It's your habits. It's what you've done up to this point. It's your results. Okay. The conscious mind, what you're aware of, your thinking mind, your reasoning mind, the choices you make, how your conscious mind works is what you behave like and how you behave is what determines your results. Okay. This is the conscious mind right here. Okay. Hopefully you guys can understand what I mean by all of this. And if you guys have questions as we go through things, please let me know. With your subconscious mind, this one down here, this is, I want you to think of it as like your brain. Okay. That's the visual I'm trying to represent here. Your subconscious mind is the vibration you're in. If you don't know how to do anything from your subconscious mind, meaning you attract certain things, you have momentum, you accelerate in business instead of lacking in business, et cetera, it's because you need this training tonight, okay? Here's the problem, and I'm going to delete all of this here. The majority of us are so much in our conscious mind. We have X-type conditioning. Do you guys know what conditioning is? Conditioning like paradigms, conditioning like habits, conditioning like you're just used to doing the same old stuff. Yeah? When you have X-type conditioning, you behave in a certain way, right? And what does that give you? X-type results. How much have you guys made up to this point? Not with SHD, just saying in general. Let's pull the room right now. How many of you guys are on? 69 of you on right now. 69 of you guys on right now. How much have you ever made in one year's time? Whether that's a salary of 50K, whether you've made 32,000 in a month, whether you make $12 an hour, what's the most you've ever made? Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Okay, 70 a year, 60, 80, 72, 100K plus, 6220 or 62. Yep. Okay. 127, 89, 24,000, 90,000, 80. Okay. Awesome. 240,000 a year, 75 a year. Awesome. So here's the thing, you guys, the reason I just, the reason I just pulled the room is because all of the comments that just came in about how much you've made lets me know where your awareness is. If you have made, let's do, you know, an even number. 80,000. Okay. Something that's attainable, but not too far fetched for a lot of people here. If you've only ever made 80,000 a year, what kind of thoughts are you thinking? A person who makes 80,000 a year, you're not thinking thoughts to get results that say double or triple or quadruple that, right? You're thinking thoughts of what you've always done and you're getting what you've always gotten. Because that's what you're used to. That's what your habit says. That's what your paradigm says. Make sense? Yes? Okay. Here's the problem with all of this. This right here, if you're thinking X-type thoughts, you're in an X vibration. When you vibe in a certain way, if I'm pissed and I'm mad, I'm going to go behave like a mad person, right? I'm angry. I'm fearful. Whatever. Fill in the blank. And what does that give me? that type of result. The problem is, this is what I call bondage. Write this down, you guys. Bondage, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say here. We'll just do a B. Bondage. This is where the majority of people live. They have what life throws at them. They have the cards they've been dealt. They fall victim oftentimes. Even if they want more, they have the same old results, same old habits creep up, even though they want something more. Okay. If 95% of people live this way, 95% of people are in bondage. They don't know how to break free. They talk, they just make a noise. It's There's no awareness that even comes with being in X-type conditioning, having X-type thoughts, getting X-type behavior and results. Okay. 
this is what I want you to focus on. I hope you guys wrote that down. Like have it in like a little, you know, scaling type thing. I just don't want to cover my entire screen with a bunch of drawing. Okay. The problem is, unless you have awareness for how to put an idea in your mind to then go away from bondage, you will be what we call insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, right? So the next thing that happens, okay, same thing here. Let's say your vibration, what you've always done, your habits is still X type, okay? And here's your results down here. If you're still in this vibration and yet you have the idea, we'll call it Y. If you have an idea, idea, if you have an idea like starting a business, you have an idea like getting out of debt, you have an idea of quitting your job, being able to contribute financially, whatever it is, hence why you started this business, why you guys are here. You have this idea, we'll call it the why idea, okay? Until you do something about it, until you get emotionally involved, EI, emotionally involved, nothing happens. You're still producing X type vibration, which gives you X type results. You're still making your 80,000 a year until you actually go get emotionally involved with your why idea. Makes sense so far? I don't want to lose you guys. Let me know if that makes sense. Here's the problem. This one here. So you're a step above bondage. You're what I call in reason. Reason. Okay. I wish I could just draw it, you guys. Sorry. I'm like literally drawing with my finger. You're now what I call in reason. Here's the problem with being in reason. What are your five senses, you guys? What are your five senses? Put it in the chat. When you are in reason and you have no awareness for how to get from your Y vibration with X type conditioning, with X type results, you're relying on reason, which would be see, smell, taste, touch here. If you always rely on what you see, what you smell, what you taste, what you touch, what you hear, you will continue to get the same income results. You will continue to get the same confidence results. You will continue to fail in a business that you've never done before. Make sense? What I invite you guys to do is to get away from see, smell, taste, touch here. Okay, just roll with me. Kind of looks like a weird old person. Okay. If you're in reason, so you have a Y idea, your X type thoughts, you don't do anything about it. Why? Because you're still relying on these things here and you get X type results. How many of you guys want to triple an $80,000 monthly or an $80,000 yearly? Yes. Yeah, kind of a no-brainer. But the problem is, is even if we are aware that we can do something, we go from bondage to now reason. And we go to what? Get emotionally involved. I can do this because. I will do this because. I have the how-to. I have this. I have that. Even when you get emotionally involved, what happens is what I call a terror barrier. Terror barrier. Okay, your next little drawing should be this. Terror barrier. Terror barrier. Hopefully you guys can understand what TB is here. <laughs> Here's the thing. To get different results, right? The results drive from your behavior. This is your body, okay? Just roll with my nasty little drawing here. To get different income results, especially when you have a vehicle like SHG, to get different income results, you have to go backwards. You can't just start behaving like, oh, I make 80 grand a year. I've never done that before. You can't just all of a sudden start cloning different things that work unless you know what it started with, which is here. 
what you thought brought about your behavior. Make sense? If I hear something on the radio and I consume that and I say, yep, that is the way it is, then I behave from that thought. I got emotionally involved. I put perception to it. I put a value on that. Oh, well, I'm new. So it's going to take me a long time. Thought. That thought then expressed turned into a feeling. How you feel turned into your behavior and your behavior determined your results. How many of you guys have results right now the way you want them to be with SHG? Yes or no? All 70 of you put yes or no in the chat. How many of you guys have had results, but obviously you want to increase still? Okay. A lot of you guys are nowhere near where you want to be. Why is that? Because a lot of times we have focused so hard, so much on the how-to, which I love, by the way. We love teaching you the how-to. Please go clone our stuff, right? But unless your mindset is in the right spot, you're going to come up against what I call a terror barrier. The terror barrier is like this big wall, okay? This wall of fear, this wall of doubt, this wall of I can't because, okay? Which is very valid. Why? Because if you are a person who has X-type thoughts, X-type conditioning, you get X-type results, of course, you're going to be like, I'm fearful, bye. And then what happens? You go right back into bondage. You just springboard yourself right back to that first little drawing. How is it then that you can have a Y idea still be an X type energy? Have down here change, right? Or does it? You can have a Y idea. Okay, like starting a business, getting out of debt, being able to contribute financially, taking your kids on a trip. Let's say you wanted to go to Hawaii and let's say it is five grand for your family. Let's say you have the money. And yet, as soon as you go to pull the trigger and pay for it, all this energy, all this nervousness comes up, even if you have the money, right? So how do you go from an idea, a why idea, so to speak, still being in the vibe of I only do and make this amount, you still behave like this amount, but yet you want to what? Now get different results. The problem is, is when you try to do that, you're in a chaotic vibration. YX vibration gives you what, you guys? Give me, give me, some, give me some words here. If I go out to do something that I'm destined to do, that I feel so good about, that I'm so excited about, but yet I have X and Y feelings and vibes happening, I've never done it before. Anxiety, confusion, fear. Yep. You're scared. Yep. Anger. Angry because you don't know how to do it. Angry because maybe you don't have the resources. Fearful because you can't predict what's going to happen. Anxiety because you've never been there before, right? All your insecurities come to the surface. Why is that, you guys? Sounds like a simple question, but why is it? that all the insecurities come out. It's what people call what? Imposter syndrome. You can't because you won't because it can't happen because it shouldn't because I don't have time because, right? Think about it for a moment. The thing is, you guys, the terror barrier is real. The terror barrier is real. Okay, write this up again for me. If you're going to smash through that wall of terror barrier, okay, the only way you're going to smash through that wall is by doing one thing, to get different results, especially for income, because that's why we're here. That's why we're in this business, right? To make more, to save more, to help others do the same. In order for you to get different results, you have to behave in a certain way. If you don't, and this is the key word here, if you don't understand what's happening when you're in the vibration of Y and X, you'll bounce right back to bondage. And you'll never be able to bust through the terror barrier. You'll never be able to step out from what you've always done. The thing is, when you, 
<laughs> I have to, I, I have to unshare right now. When, let me admit someone real quick. When you don't know how to bounce through the terror barrier, you don't understand what's going on. You have the how to for go clone this video. You go to clone the video and you're immediately consumed with anxiety. You're immediately distraught. You're immediately coming up with all the reasons of why it won't work. Say you even post the video, but yet you're sick to your stomach, right? The only way to bounce through that terror barrier is to do one thing and it's to understand. What's the opposite of understanding? Like if you were to do the bipolar opposite, what is the opposite of understand? If I understand something, what am I not? Confusion, ignorance. Yep, you guys got it. Ignorance. Okay, this is what I want you to write up on your board now. Oh, let me see if I can share my screen here again. And if you guys can see my screen, please let me know. I'm going to draw this out. Okay. I'm going to put a P here for polarity. Do you guys know what polarity is? Polar opposite to something. You have the in and out. You have the up and down. You have the good, the bad, yin, yang, black, white, right? You have the opposite to every single thing. So you can do the route of ignorance. We're just going to do ig ignore almost. We're going to do the route of ignorance. And we're going to do the route of what you guys knowledge. You understand something, right? If you know something, you're not ignorant about it. If you're ignorant about it, you don't know it, right? See how they're opposite. The thing is you guys, and this is what I really want you to hone in on. This is what I really want you to understand. If I am in X type thoughts and I'm ignorant about it, meaning I don't go practice, meaning I don't go understand, meaning I stay where I am because that's where I'm comfortable. Heaven forbid I try to do something out of my comfort zone to attain something I've never done, right? Which 95% of people do, so you're not alone in that. If you're ignorant about something, what happens here on the conscious? What happens on the conscious level, you guys? What kind of feeling would you be having? Worry and doubt. What happens when you worry and you doubt? What then do you behave like? Fearful. And when you combine these three, worry and doubt plus fear equals, you guys said it, anxiety. When you're anxious about something and you are fearful about it, how do you behave? And in that moment, what do you attract? more things to be fearful about, more things to be anxious about, right? You don't know how, you don't know how, it's not gonna work. You suck, listen to the next person. They're telling you, you suck, right? Write this down. And I'm not gonna obviously write all of it because I can't with my little finger here. When you're in the polar side of ignorance, if you're anxious, Someone who's anxious does not go around being like, I'm really anxious, right? Normally, they suppress it. Put this formula down, you guys. Suppression turns into depression, which turns into disease or dis-ease, okay? Which then gives you what? disintegration. If you are not growing, if you are not doing something out of your comfort zone on purpose, you are dying. Create or disintegrate. Create or disintegrate. There, It's like right or left. You have to choose a route as soon as you pull out of your driveway. You can't just not turn. You have to choose a route, right? So if you are in the X-type conditioning, you're in X-type thoughts, you're in X-type behavior, you are going to suppress that, you're going to quit, you're going to not communicate, you're not going to be here for Teachable Tuesday because you're uncomfortable, right? And when you suppress it, 
it turns into depression. You get anxious about it even more than what you've done. And what does that depression do? Turns into dis-ease, a body that's not at ease, a body that's anxious, a body that's uh, hyperventilating, a body that's suffocating, right? And because you're not expressing anything, you start to disintegrate. If you're not doing things out of your comfort zone, if you are in this business and you are finding yourself uncomfortable, good. That constitutes growth. If you're not growing, you're dying. If you're not moving forward, you're going backward. Polarity. Make sense? Put make sense in the chat, you guys, if that makes sense so far. Okay, so here's here's the case. Okay, so we have polarity back again, right? So we have ignorance on this side. We have knowledge on this side because that's the opposite. Yeah. Well, how about we turn that suppression, depression, dis-ease, disintegration into something that's good? Pay attention. When you're knowledgeable about something, you have two things. I hope you guys are writing the actual words down, not just the letters, because obviously the letters won't make sense to you later. When you have the knowledge about something, you do two things. You understand it because of study. Knowledge comes from understanding because you studied, because you actually did something, because you chose to grow. Okay. So instead of having suppression, depression, dis ease, and disintegration, I want you guys to drill this into your head. If you get if you get knowledgeable about something, not knowledge is power. Nope. I'm going to explain that in a second. If you get knowledgeable about something because of understanding and because of study, meaning habits, meaning you do something every single day, creating a habit for your business. When you create a habit, it becomes more natural. It's something you don't think about. It's just something you do. Can you imagine a time where in your business, you just up and do something and you get results based on your business habit that you create? How can you create habits without the understanding and the study of it? Okay. How can you understand something if you don't study it? Now, instead of having our suppression, depression, dis-ease, and disintegration, Okay, we're going to flip that on its head and go to the polar opposite because there's an opposite to everything. Thank heavens. We wouldn't know the good without knowing the bad, right? You couldn't explain inside without knowing what outside meant. Yeah, makes sense, you guys. Put makes sense in the chat for me. Let's go to the opposite side. So we've got K over here, okay, the knowledge. If you understand something and We'll just draw this little guy out. Okay. If I move my chat box, if I understand it, here, here's my conscious mind, you guys, but I'm understanding it now. The understanding, instead of being fear, right? For the opposite, instead of the conscious level being fear, you now, because of understanding, because of action taking, because of consistency, What's the opposite of fear? What's another F word? Faith. And I don't mean faith like faith, you know, in the unseen. I'm talking about faith based on understanding, not faith based on, you know, I just hope it works out for me and stuff. No, faith based on understanding makes it so you, mm, this formula is so good. You guys, I really hope you're listening when your faith is there. Oh, like makes me emotional thinking about actually when your faith is there, what's the opposite of dis-ease well-being, right? Or for an easier example, confidence. If you're a body not at ease and you're acting from anxiety, you don't get results. But when you act from a place of well-being and you're confident, the, let me clear this, the well-being turns into, 
Can you guys guess? Expression rather than suppression, right? The expression turns into acceleration. The acceleration, can you guys guess? Would turn into you're at ease, right? You're confident. Uh, we'll just put ease, okay? Instead of dis-ease. And that gives you more creation. Write this down. Creation literally means to bring into existence. So check in with yourself. What are you creating this year? What are you creating this week? Are you creating results that you desire that you know you can have? Or are you creating a bunch of crap because your thought is not changed? Because you're accepting a belief that's less than what you know you're worth. Okay? Think about it for a second. What are you creating in this moment? However you're vibing right now, I'm uncomfortable. I don't know how to do this. I've never done that before. I don't know how to create a YouTube video. What do they mean by blah, 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 blah? You got to understand it by doing it. You have to understand it by understanding that what you're coming up against is what we call the terror barrier. The only way to get past this wall of terror, okay, terror barrier, and to hop over to freedom, where now you have Y type energy, Y type behavior, Y type results is when you study you so much, you understand what happens when you feel anxious. This whole thing about bondage, right? There's no awareness that goes to it. The person talks and they're just making a noise. They don't understand that they could actually create. And when they don't understand it, it turns into the suppression, the depression, the dis-ease, disharmony, whatever you want to call it. The only way to get out of bondage and to not bounce back is to bust through that terror barrier. The only way you can bust through the terror barrier is what? Understanding. Does that make sense, you guys? I know I'm repeating myself, but here's the thing. You have to understand it. You have to understand it. So, for example, when you, let me admit a couple more people here. When you are not understanding about something, you're ignorant about it. Literally, ignorance is the root problem to every problem in this entire world. Debate me on it. Every single thing that is bad, that is poor, that is negative is from the root ignorance, a person not understanding, a perception not being understood, whatever it is, right? So the opposite of that is knowledge, but how you gain the knowledge is by studying you. How you gain the knowledge is by doing the thing that makes you uncomfortable because if you're Christy, not- can I just pop in for five seconds here? Yeah. I just want to chime in on what you just said. I don't mean to cut your flow, but like like what you just said about ignorance is like, this, this is picture perfect, especially those of you guys that are getting out there and making content on social media. When people are popping on and, and you guys will get these as you guys build and grow, you guys will get these comments, the negative, the naysayers, the pyramid schemes, the scams and stuff like that. The reason why they comment that negative stuff is, is ignorance. They just don't know. They right. don't have the knowledge. They don't have the information. And when you're out there, showing them, proving to them, or trying to, you know, get out there and go be you and be confident. And you have these people hitting you up being like, oh, it's a scam. It's a pyramid scheme. It's this, it's that. It's done out of fear and ignorance. It has absolutely zero to do with you. It has absolutely nothing to do with you and everything to do with their fear in their own ability. You are literally just a reflection of how they see themselves and totally. their fear and ignorance and their own abilities, nothing to do with you. So yep. feel like don't ever worry about what other people think because their opinions don't pay your bills. Yep. And on top of that, you guys, the only way for them to understand and the only way for them to go to the opposite of knowledge rather than ignorance is for you to step into knowledge. It's not for you to fight back. It's not for you to uh, say, 
you know, oh, I'm getting so much hay. Oh, I'm getting this and that. Your vibe right now in this moment at 8.48 p.m. Eastern, right now is what attracts your sale. It's what attracts your $100, how you feel now. The problem is all of you guys, including myself, and I have the understanding. I know what comes up. I know when the terror barrier hits. I know that confusion when you're trying to do X and Y and you're in that vibration and that comes up for you, 95% of people, hopefully not you guys now, because now hopefully you're getting a little bit of understanding about it. When you're in X and Y vibration, it's chaotic. Jamie commented that it's chaotic. I've talked about it on, on Mindset Monday a few times. You're in a foreign vibration. You've never done it before. Creating a YouTube video, stepping out of your comfort zone, asking for the sale, starting a business, spending $200, upgrading from gold to platinum to titanium, whatever it is. It's uncomfortable. Thank heavens. Because if it wasn't uncomfortable, you would not be growing. And from that acronym that I wrote out, if you are going to express and then have that turn into acceleration and then let that acceleration be part of your confidence or your well being, so to speak, instead of dis ease, that is the only way you're going to create results. Create, not disintegrate, not the opposite, right? Left or right, create or die. Which one? right? The only way for you to create something worthy of you is to push past that terror barrier and to know when those vibrations, so to speak, the anxiety, the nerves, the doubt, the fear, the unknown, the uncertainty, the imposter syndrome, whatever the freak you want to call it, when that comes up, X and Y, and you're trying to mesh the two, You've done X for so long. You're introducing a Y idea for something that el something else you've never done before. And you combine the two, you're going to feel chaotic. You're going to feel that anxiety. But now you have the understanding that when that comes up, you know what it is. This is my paradigm. This is my habit. This is my result. The old Kirsty a minute ago, the old Kirsty an hour ago, coming up saying, I can't do it. When you can understand to push past that, that is when you'll have freedom. And then your X in the top of that circle turns into the Y. And guess what? You start all over. Because again, if you're not growing, you're dying. And if you're not creating, you're not doing anything at all. What would be the point, right? Now, a couple of things I want to go over here. Uh, where the heck did I put it? Oh, just kidding. It's on our document. Hold on. Let me find their document. I'm going to share this in the chat, you guys. And for those on the replay, it will be in the description below this video. Put that right here. And I'm going to share my screen here. I took notes because I want you guys to understand that what we just did is identifying and avoiding the landmine that will sabotage your success. If you cannot get in the habit of pushing past your terror barrier, you will sabotage your success. It's the same reason why so many people get excited about their goal, just like you see here. You get excited about your goal and in the end, it fizzles. In the end, you never even reach it. You don't even get there. You're not even close. Why? First, because you probably set the wrong goal, which I have a training on, which I'll give you guys. But a bigger reason is because you set a goal that's something you've never done before. Duh. Duh. Of course, you've never done it before. You all, all you have is this moment. Of course, you've never done it before. No dust or lock, right? But until you actually step out of that terror barrier and you recognize what's happening, you'll bounce right back into bondage. You'll go right back into, I need a reason with it. I need to use my five senses to, to appeal it to understand it when really you're just insanity doing the same thing over and over again and you expect a different result. It's hilarious. Don't do that. The majority of people don't hit their goals because they don't understand the terror barrier coming up. 
they don't get this X, Y vibration confusion that they're feeling. And so they go right back into bondage. Oh, heaven forbid I have a goal outside of what I've done. I can't do it because I won't do it because fill in the blank. Okay. As I said, X type, X type thoughts, X type feelings give you X type results. You're thinking you don't have what it takes, right? You entertain a Y idea. You guys can see the notes here. Terror barrier, just like Jamie said, it's freaking chaos. It's a foreign vibration. You're not familiar with it, so it must be wrong. No, it's not wrong. It's that you have to understand. Instead of being ignorant, instead of being ignorant, oh, I have anxiety, so it must be wrong. Nope, nope. If you're not doing something every single day that you've never done before, you're going backward. You are. Please write this down, you guys. It's in the document, but I dare you to write it down as well. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. Seriously, so good. If a person advances confidently in the direction of their dream and endeavors to live the life they've imagined, they will meet with success unexpected in common hours. What does that mean? If you advance, if you choose to do something every single day towards the direction of your dream within this business, within this team, getting out of debt, taking your kids on the trip, whatever the goal, and you endeavor to live the life you've imagined, you will meet with success. And a lot of times, just like Thoreau says at the end, the success will appear to be unexpected, but it's in common hours. When you succeed, it will just feel like it was meant for you because you persisted, because you broke past the terror barrier, because when you got that anxiety, you went through it. And you said, I recognize what this is. I'm pushing through it anyway, rather than, nope, I'm going to bounce back right into bondage, right? Do you guys want to be in bondage or would you rather be in freedom? Which one? Which one? Put it in the chat. Okay. So I have a training on this. I'm just going to touch on it lightly here. The formula for being able to push past the terror barrier, you guys, is taking a fantasy, going into a theory, and making it a fact. How do you do that? I'm going to draw it on the screen right now. And I have an exact training on this, so you guys will need to go watch that. I do it as a triangle, okay? Some of you guys might be familiar with it. To go from a fantasy, which is setting the right goal, which I have a training on, which I will challenge you guys to go look at in a moment. To go from a fantasy to a theory, to a fact, you have to get emotionally involved. A theory meaning like it's a hunch. You have no proof. It's just a hunch. You don't have evidence, right? I have a, okay, we'll, we'll give Daniel as an example. Daniel's goal with an SHG is 45,000 a month, walk away income. That's a fantasy. He doesn't know what that is. He, do, he right now wouldn't know what that is right? He has the goal. He's working towards it, but he doesn't have it yet. A fantasy. He's never done it before. Okay. He gets emotionally involved with that idea. It turns into a theory. Hmm. Maybe I can do this. If I do, da, 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 I can do it. How do you take the theory then to a fact? So you do have 45,000 a month within this business. For example, you ask yourself two questions, write this down. Am I able? Am I able? Um, yes, bro, you are able. You are God's highest form of creation and you are able to do it, but you have to understand how to push past the uncomfort, the insecurity. That's the first question. You answer yes to that question, you're halfway there to fact. Next question, am I willing? Am I willing to do what it takes? Am I willing to set aside my insecurities? Am I willing to assume it's possible for myself because other people have, why can't I? And you turn it into a fact. And then guess what? Just like the Y and X vibration, your Y and Y and Y results, right? Now your fact, you get to build a bigger and better fantasy. Because again, if you're not growing, you are what? 
You can't have it both ways. You have to choose one or the other. Okay. Now, I want to go back to this document here. Okay. The problem is going to be this. Okay. Now I understand this is my terror barrier. Yada, yada, yada. That's great. But the problem is when you recognize it's your terror barrier and you look around and you start thinking things like, I don't see what I need to do to get there. I don't have the resources. I don't know where to start. That is when you've got to remember this formula, the ignorance first knowledge. Okay. Just polarity. However, you wrote it on your paper, the worry and doubt versus study and understanding the fear versus faith, the anxiety versus well-being or confidence for a different word. Please remember this, you guys. When you're in ignorance and you're in, I need to stay in my comfort zone because I'm too anxious. It must be wrong. You suppress it. You hide it. You don't communicate. You don't show up. You assume things. And what happens that turns into depression. I can't do it because fill in the blank. And when you're in suppression and depression like that, I'm not just talking mentality. I'm talking with your behavior too. Your body's not at ease. And when you're in disintegration, there's no way that your income can increase. No way, no how. So I challenge you guys, think about, don't just think, go do. Every single freaking time that terror barrier comes up, push past it. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. Not just the action step. You have to actually do it based on understanding. How do you understand it? How do you gain the knowledge? Based on study. Why do we have Teachable Tuesday, you guys? Why do we have Teachable Tuesday? We're giving you the how-to. We're giving you the formula to study, to understand. But the only way you understand it is by doing it. And when you do it, you express it. Why do we have something like our shout out thread, like our marketing proof? Why do we do things like Teachable Tuesday? Because we express what's working. And then all of a sudden it's out of nowhere or so it seems that someone is like totally smashing it out of the park. They're like this one hit wonder. Not really. They've done all the planting of the seeds to get there. They have brought about their understanding about the terror barrier. And they're accelerating like crazy. Why? Because it's a formula. And when you accelerate, you're at ease. If you're at ease, you're in creation. You guys, to create the results that you want, you have to push past your terror barrier. You have to understand that what's coming up, anxiety is the same exact crap as excitement. Your body literally doesn't know the difference. Your physical body doesn't know the difference between you being anxious, you being nervous, and you being excited. Polarity again. But you have to trick your mind into thinking it's excitement. You have to trick your mind into knowing that you're stepping into something better for yourself, something more for yourself, rather than going into the anxiety. Because if you stay in anxiety, you're never going to create anything. You will be the person who quits next week. You will be the person who, I can't afford it. I don't have the time. It doesn't work. My friends and family hate me. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever you want to say. You will be that person. Unless you practice and you're consistent in putting yourself out of comfort. So you have no choice but to grow. No choice. Every single time I do a video, is it natural for me now? Totally. It's like a cakewalk. You could say, go live on my Facebook group. I'd be like, cool, what about? I wouldn't even think twice about it. Why is that easy for me now? Because I practiced. Because I understood that when I was anxious about something, I could and would push past it. But unless you align with your goals enough to push past it, unless you understand why in the world you got into this business, we could teach you the how-to all day long, which we do all the time, and none of it will matter. You'll, you'll still be the person who quits because you don't have true understanding, okay? This is something I want you guys to write down. I actually think it's in my document. Let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Where is it? Did I not write it down? I could have sworn I wrote it down. Hold on, you guys. 
Maybe I didn't. Hold on, you guys. It's really important. Ah, here we are. Okay, write this down. I don't care what's on your document. I want you to write it down. Faith. Oh, like makes me emotional reading. The ability to see the invisible, to believe in the incredible, and that will permit us to receive what the masses call impossible. Please understand that faith, faith isn't something that's like, oh, yay, it moves mountains. Cool. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about your ability to forfeit your five senses to see the invisible, see something for yourself that you've never done before, that you have no idea how it's going to work, but yet you're believing in that incredible moment. Okay. That and only that, the combination of the two, the belief in the invisible, the ability to see the invisible, okay, will be the only thing to give you what the masses call impossible. How many times have you guys stepped out of your comfort zone and then you've had someone say close to you say, you can't do it because, you shouldn't do it because, it won't work because. And if you've not had someone tell you that yet, which you probably have, because there's polarity and everything. How many times have you guys said that to yourself? I can't because I won't because I shouldn't because. I don't have time because I can't afford it because, right? I hear it all the time, you guys. I hear it all the time to myself. I hear it all the time from people outside of me, people who don't know me, people who know me really well. You can't because you can't because. And if that's the vibration you're in, what do you attract? How can you be a magnet for $45,000 made every single month, for example, if your vibration is, I'm only anxious. Turn that anxiety into excitement. You produce the same symptoms physically. Anxiety and nerves produces the same thing as excitement. Your palms are sweaty, your heart races, you know, you get butterflies, you feel kind of sick to your stomach, maybe in a good way, maybe in a bad way. Same thing. But you have to trick your mind into believing that it is excitement. It is exciting to step into something more than you've done before. And is it going to make it so it's uncomfortable? Duh. Of course it is. Because if it wasn't, you would not be growing. You would not be growing. Make sense? Okay, so a couple last things here. And this is what I want to end with, you guys. You need to understand, let's see, let me share my screen here, right here. I challenge you guys to create habits every single day that forfeit your five senses, forfeit meaning give up, forfeit meaning don't do, right? Forfeit what you see, smell, taste, touch in here and step into your six higher faculties more often. Now, we're not looking for perfection. You don't just all of a sudden stop hearing things, right? You don't just all of a sudden stop seeing something and taking it personally, right? It's a habit that you get to create for doing that. Do every single thing every single day just a little bit more to step into your imagination rather than what you see in here. Because what you see in here lies. It's not real. It's your perception. Okay, choose a different perception that actually makes you grow. Use your will. What's your will? Discipline. Okay, use your will, your power, your discipline to continue using these things. Choose a different perception that's worthy of you. Imagine your life act from the end result of what it is to be at 45K a month with SHG within our team or larger. Maybe your goal is five times that. Use your intuition when doing so. You got to learn to trust yourself. Use your memory for what's happened in the past only when it helps you go from fantasy theory to a fact. Okay? And then your reasoning mind, the reasoning is this. The only time you can use this to your advantage is when you are mastering you are these things. Make sense? Now, I know that's a lot, you guys. This is not something that just happens overnight. It's to have you understand that there's more for you out there. 
It's have to have you understand that when you're in that XY vibration, it's a good thing, but you have to practice moving past that terror barrier. Otherwise you'll bounce right back into bondage. Okay. Last thing I wrote out some affirmations right before we started, please adopt these into your belief system. Do what you can to adopt these into your belief system. If you write it on the the wall and you look at it every day when you're getting ready in the mirror, whatever else, please adopt these types of things into your belief system because it's true. You do have what it takes right now, but as soon as you look outside yourself and say, I don't have the resources, you're going to be right. So stop that and accept the belief in an instant that all these things on the screen right now are true. Okay. And then last thing, how many of you guys are up for a challenge? Put challenge in the comments if that's you. How many of you guys want a challenge? All right, Elvis, Jamie, Anthony, Montana, Natasha, Kimberly, holy freak, I can't even read them all. <laughs> Good, you guys. Here's your challenge. By Focus Friday, use this document. Go watch these three videos. Okay, one of them's like seven or eight minutes. The other one's like 20 and the other one's like, I don't know, 25, something like that. It's better than Netflix. I promise you that. You have to understand how to master your mind and master your money. You have to understand the science behind your goals, which is very, very, very small in that formula of fantasy theory fact. Okay. And then understanding your self image, what you believe about yourself is true. And it's so true. That's what's giving you your results right now, especially when it comes to income, your income results are a direct reflection of your self image. It is, it's like a thermometer. You can't turn it off. It adjusts and it goes right back. Even if you open the door, even if you turn off the heat, it adjusts right back. And the only way for you to increase an income is to increase your self-image. Okay. So I'm going to drop that link one more time. So you guys have it on the replay under the playlist. Okay. It's literally under this video. Go to that document. Jason, the videos on that document at the end, that's your challenge to have done before Focus Friday. Now, at the time of this recording, you guys, it is the 18th of October. Please do what you can to have those three videos watched by the 21st, because I'm going to give you another challenge come the 21st, and it's going to help you accelerate so that you can express and be in creation. Okay. I know that was a lot. And I know we're about 10 minutes past the hour. I know we started a couple minutes late. Any questions? Let me know. Any questions about what we talked about tonight? Self-image, you understanding it, terror barrier, your X, Y vibration, whatever. Any, any questions? If not, great. And if so, holler now. Me, but it's easier to ask it verbally. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay. So when you were talking about the mindset and everything, and for, I've struggled a long time with negative mindset, mainly from previous uh, people. And with Montana doing a lot of her positive mindset, it's helped a lot, but I still get to the part where, you know, you're not good enough. You're never going to be good enough, you know. It's not worth it. How do I just move past that? How, what is like a good thing to tell myself to move past that so I can succeed? Because a lot of my videos, I hear myself tell myself that is yep. that I'm not good enough to do it. Yep. Okay. So here's the thing, Casey. Awesome question. And thank you for expressing what you have. Cause I can guarantee 55 of you guys on right now relate to what she just said. No. The only way for you to step out of the thoughts, I'm not good enough, is for you to replace it. You have to replace it with something that's bipolar opposite. But here's the thing, just as I just said, you're not looking for perfection. You're not looking for perfection. It's not just all of a sudden you're like a 180, I never think a negative thought again, I'm a freaking beast. No. You still have the negative thoughts, Casey. 
you still have all that crap come up of you're not good enough. You suck. Same. Welcome to my life. I deal with that crap all the time. But what I've done is I've learned to compound my thought process. When that comes up, I knock it to the curb. I might still feel that way. I might still feel like I'm lying to myself. No, Curious, you really do suck. Right? It might still feel like it's real. But when you can get into the habit of every time a stupid thought like that comes up, that feels so real for you, every time that happens, you say, nope, I am not accepting that today. Nope, we don't think those things anymore. You could even be silly like I am sometimes, and I literally say it out loud. Nope, not going down that route. Nice try. And even if the thought right after is, oh, but you really do still suck. Oh, but you really are still not good enough. You're freaking lying. You're full BS. I still challenge that thought. But understand, you guys, you're not looking for perfection. I think a lot of times we have a concept like this and we're thinking, oh, yeah, I got it. I'm like totally on top of the world, right? And then the first moment you have a negative thought, you're like, oh, freak, I suck. No, you're not looking for perfection. You're looking for the compounded thought of rerouting. Reroute your thought. Challenge your thought when it comes up. Casey, is it true you're not good enough? Is that actually true? You're shaking your head no, but do you believe that? You believe that. 90% of the time, I really believe that I am good enough. I, I really do. But then there's like, you talked about subconscious earlier. I really get to the point where that little voice just kind of creeps in and then it just gets louder and louder the closer it gets. And then finally, like sometimes I'm able to snap it out of it and like slam the door on it. Mm -hmm. If you want to give a verbal or like sure. a physical image to it, but there's times where it still creeps under the door. You know what that is, Casey? Terror barrier. That's literally your terror barrier. As soon as you bounce past that freaking big wall, you step into freedom. The 10% of you bouncing back into bondage is okay. Give yourself some grace. You're not perfect. Neither, I mean, none of us are, right? The intent though is every single time that happens, you chip away that thought just a little bit more. You're compounding the habit. You're compounding what you're capable of. Even if me, you have the thought, you just- Let me chime, on, chime in on this for just a second here. And it, you know, yeah. you, you said it super good, uh, compounding. And like, there's no, and I'm sure what Casey's going through, a lot of you guys are going through as well. I've gone through it. We've all gone through it where it's, it's that fear. It's the fear of the unknown. Right. And it's obviously, you know, having unsupportive people around you is certainly going to make it a little more challenging. However, you guys got to realize this, and this is why we talked about this in the very, very beginning, every single day, work on you, drive traffic, follow up, work on you, drive traffic, follow up. Guys, this is a journey and it never, ever stops. There's no magic bullet. There's no magic wand. There's not one thing for Casey or anybody else here where you're going to hear it, read it, listen to it and be like, oh, problem solved. I'm good to go. This is an ongoing it like is. battle with yourself and a battle like, you know, like for you to just like get to that point where, you know, you're, you're just going to be comfortable doing the uncomfortable it's, it's the same way that Kirstie brought up earlier where it's like, oh, you want me to go live? Sure. Give me a topic and boom, she just goes. Right. But, you know, do we still have, you know, fear and anger and doubt and, you know, those sort of thoughts going through our head? Yeah, of course. But the more that you work on you, the more consistently you treat this and go after it every single day, the more you invest into yourself every single day, the easier it becomes. Yes. You know, it's, yep. you know, so when, when you have that terror barrier in front of you, the more you work on you, the more you strengthen that muscle because your brain is a muscle and the it more is. you work it, the stronger it gets and the easier it is to get over those. You might have that little fear, you know, the same fear that you feel today. If you work on you every single day, is not going to be the same fear that you feel 30 days from now or 60 days from now. The fear might be there, but it's going to be a lot smaller stepping over that, like picture, like a runner running down a track and jumping over a hurdle, right? And that hurdle, whatever it was, like three and a half, four feet high, right? And now imagine 30 days from now, you're coming up to that hurdle, but it's two feet high. 
it's a lot easier to get over, right? Mm -hmm. So you just got to keep working on yourself. Just be committed to you. If you be committed to you over time, it's just, you know, are negative thoughts going to be there? Yeah. You should hear the shit that Kirstie and Bill and I talk about, mm -hmm. but it's like, you know, we, we voice our frustrations, but we always push our problems up. We never push them out and down. Right. Mm -hmm. So like the life is going to be there. It's always going to be there. Right. But you got to work on you every day. That's why we talk about this being consistent. It's, it's an ongoing thing, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. And the reason it gets easier, you guys, is because you're creating a habit. That's really what it comes down to. Everything that you do inside of your business right here within our team is you creating habits. You're creating the habit. I mean, you guys have habits of like how you brush your teeth, how you cross your, your arms, how you, you know, cook dinner, what side of the bed you sleep on. You don't even think about it. You have a habit of doing all those things because you've done it so many times it's natural for you, right? When you're creating habits around your business, creating short form videos, showing up for you every day, not listening to people who are like, you can't because, right? Or kicking it to the curb as soon as you have that thought. I have those thoughts all the time, you guys. And I had six titanium sales today, in my opinion, without even trying. Why? Because I'm expecting the success and because I have compounded so much the habit of you can, you will, you must. I've compounded that thought so much that now it's just natural for me. And we want the same for you, which is why we've taken so much time tonight. I know it's long. Insane. This is what it is. So Casey's experiencing a terror barrier. You know, I experience a terror barrier every single day. Every single day inside this business, I experience my own terror barrier. Why? Because I'm doing something more than what I did the day before. I'm intentionally choosing something bigger than what I've done before. Why? Because that's the only way for me to grow. And it's the same with you. When you step into growth, you naturally give other people around you the permission to do the same. Write that down. When I step into growth, I give others around me permission to do the same. It's a contagious energy. But if you bounce back into bondage because you're too worried, you're too scared of the unknown, no, duh, you don't know what's going to happen in an hour from now. You don't know what's going to happen in a month from now. So why in the world are you choosing the route of I can't? You don't have proof of it. You don't have proof. Make sense? Any other questions, you guys? Let me know. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. <laughs> and if not, then we'll wrap this up. I hope you guys go watch the replay. I hope you watch it again and again and you stick through my really awesome art drawing. <laughs> any other thoughts, questions? You can take yourself off mute if needed, or you can put it in the chat. Otherwise, we'll just wrap this up here. Thanks, One thing guys. I got to say real quick is... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Just saying thank you. So, oh, thank you're you. welcome, Bill. What's up, Bill? The only thing I'll say, guys, is... There's a... Sorry, Bill keeps talking. <laughs> oh, he's choppy. Oh. Go um, ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, the only thing I'll say is obviously there was a, a ton of really, really awesome and amazing information. And it was also, guys, this was an, a lot of information. That's a lot. We got, we went really super deep and, you know, some of it, like it might, you might have to go watch this two, three, four, five times. And realistically, I would, because it's, it's, especially when, when we go past an hour, really, when we go past 30 minutes, to be honest, like the human brain can only consume so much at one time and retain it all. Mm -hmm. So I would go back into teachabletuesdayreplays.com and I would try to watch this two, three, four times throughout the, re the rest of this week yep. and just kind of, because I guarantee you, you're going to go back through it and you're going to be like, ah, I totally missed that nugget. And you're going to get some aha moments. So just yep. go back, absorb it. Don't try to retain it all in one spot, but go back and watch it multiple times. Yep. Agreed. I just dropped that document again, you guys. Again, the challenge for those of you who accepted the challenge, which was basically all of you, and even those on the replay, your challenge is the same. 
Okay. These three videos watched by Focus Friday this week. And if you catch this later on and it's past the 21st of October, that's fine. Still accept the challenge if you feel you're worthy of it. Okay. Which you should, if you paid attention tonight, these three videos here. Okay. We'll check in with you on Friday about it. I'm going to give you a new challenge on Friday for it. So be sure to have those videos watched because the things that we talked about tonight, a lot of information, it's a lot of depth. There is, it's literal science. You guys, this is not like, woohoo, you're awesome. Believe in yourself. Like, no, when you understand the science of that belief and what happens when that happens for real, you do meet with success. You do. You can't even debate it. Okay. So go do those challenges, you know, go take a breather. Cause I'm sure that was a lot and then go really understand what you're capable of. Okay. Compounding the habits, not eating a whole enchilada. You're not looking for perfection. You're looking for just tipping the scales 1% more per day for you choosing something better for yourself. Something more worthy of yourself, your goals. Dill, Dill, put Dill in the chat if that's you. <laughs>